Aloha Maui and welcome to Astrology Now. I am Juliet Butters Doty, evolutionary astrologer, with the report on the new moon in Virgo happening on September the 2nd. Certainly, a more serious tone is being set this month, so set your intentions with the new moon and make it count. The day before, Uranus stations retrograde shortly before Pluto makes his big sign change. It is more than remarkable that this is occurring on the same day, just hours apart and shortly before the new moon itself. Both planets will be emanating huge energies. Remember Uranus is the ruler of Aquarius and Pluto currently is in uh, Aquarius. And we, are, we all need to review, recalibrate and discern internally as he retrogrades as to just what may need to be unearthed within each of us. So where do you inhibit your soul's freedom and creativity? Where do you feel stifled? Pluto re-enters back into Capricorn just a day before the, the new moon in Virgo heralding a distinct call for us to probe into every facet of our lives, to take ownership of our actions and to scrutinize the impact of external influences made upon us. During these two and a half months of time that Pluto will be in Capricorn, we need to investigate our inclinations as to where we stifle subjugate and hold back whilst exploring where we suppress ourselves, potentially falling into states of depression for some. Pluto also requires us to pause and reflect. Remember, he's retrograde still. All planets that are retrograde um, need this pause and reflect. It's an inversion, a yin, uh, harmonic, ensuring that our actions and methods are aligned with the projects and ideas that truly serve the greater purpose in our lives. So just what do we need to deal with? So it's time now to discern and cull Virgo attributes, remember the new moon in Virgo, as to what keeps us individually and collectively from our highest path, our destiny. Pluto is demanding now, as he's heading into Capricorn for the last pass, to deal with our past shadows and cobwebs together with the new moon insisting to not miss anything. Virgo's like a fine tooth comb. So, Pluto will be in Capricorn until November 19th, where he will remain post November 19th in Aquarius for the next 20 year chapter. And just incidentally, Pluto will not be back into Capricorn for another 230 years. So Pluto is the backdrop to everything, desirous of transforming us all. That's his main agenda. He highlights to us from the underbelly of much what needs to be eliminated. And so what is it for you? Just FYI, Saturn is the ruler of Capricorn. And so as Pluto moves back into Capricorn for two and a half months, Saturn is in the sign of Pisces, dissolving boundaries and blurring our sense of what we need to focus on, to the extent that perhaps some old ideals are no longer driving us and a shift towards a sense of unity possibly can begin to emerge. Also, are there any old karmic entanglements that have been left unaddressed? It is time, Saturn, to bring into form some foundational, solid Saturn, spiritual Pisces, structures Saturn. <laughs> Whew, 
So we are strongly encouraged to differentiate, to discern during this new moon phase, to reassess just how we approach our daily routines and habits, and to transform our days into meaningful experiences on a soul level to better manage the changes that are constant now. So dedication to health regimes too, which is a very Virgo quality, is being brought under scrutiny to apply greater commitment to our body's overall optimum health. And that encompasses physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. So the North Node of our collective fated destiny is sitting together with Neptune at 29 degrees. He's also sitting with Celestia, um, the goddess of light and um, higher frequencies. And so they, there's a calling for a dissolution and surrender into the source of all that is, dissolving and softening what obstructs that flow. Eris, too, is still next to Chiron, the goddess of chaos and um, uh, revolution, and she's inciting us together with Chiron uh, to act, to harness the courage to fight for what is your meaningful truth and purpose. And lastly, Venus, the ruler of the South Node, so it's important, the karmic South Node, sits one degree away from the South Node itself in Libra, making her point where we need to empty out and let go. It's always the case with the South Node of where we spend too much time focusing and efforting on people pleasing, not wanting to rock the boat and being too generous and catering to, to others. So the South Node again is encouraging us to let go of those ways of being. So we're in evolutionary, game-changing times now. You know it, we all know it. Your practices to connect into your stillness can only assist you to navigate into your future. Deepen your connection, trust your feelings, have faith that the cosmos has a plan, even though the chaos may reign out there for sure. So maintain your center. Find your natural rhythm and deeper energy flow. What is your essential need for that to tick over for you? So allow yourself the rest that you need. We are not designed to just keep the accelerator pedal on go. We need time for integration. So until next cycle, which will be a super full moon lunar eclipse, on the 17th in the sign of Pisces. Yes, we are entering the eclipse season portal. We're already in it as we move through September and into early October. So tread gently as you go, a hooey ho.